All right, starting this Saturday, the Franklin Rodeo is rolling into town. They got a big parade. Then all next week, they're back. They're in person. A lot of fun. If you've never been to the event and think, oh, we might go to rodeo, go see this rodeo. It is so well done. Uh, and the main reason is because of our guest here next, Ruth Nicholas with the Franklin Rodeo joined us. Ruth, thank you for doing this. And I've missed, I haven't seen you in three years. How are you? I am great. And we are so happy to be back to the Williamson County Ag Expo Park. You travel the country doing rodeos all over the place. And so I was so used to seeing you every May and then the pandemic hits and then everything else. I am so glad, Ruth, that you guys are back in person. It's got to be the same feeling all the way around. It does. You know, pandemic threw everybody for a curve and we're just happy to be here and we're and we're back back and bigger and better than ever. Where are you this week? I am home this week. I was in California about two weeks ago, and the next week I'll be in Tennessee. Oh, well done. All right, thanks. Kick off this Saturday with the Franklin Rodeo Parade. I did not know until you told me when I was out there seeing you that this parade has been around for quite a while, and that kicks everything off. Yeah, it, of course, like all parades are, it's free, starts at noon on Saturday, and then we do something else that's really cool next Wednesday, the 18th. We do what we call a Down in the Dirt Franklin Rodeo Experience, where you come out to the Williamson County Ag Expo Park, you get down in the arena, you can see the horses and bulls up close, you can get in the barrel where, where the rodeo clown's in, you can pet horses, it's all free, so it's sort of cool to see that, and you can visit with some of the rodeo personalities, so you get a much more uh, personal and up-close experience, which is really cool. We have it on the screen now, This have you guys offered this before? Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is probably our fifth or sixth year of doing this. And it's very well received, especially by families, because your little ones can come out. There's something about dirt and little kids. They right. love to get in that rodeo arena and just run around because there's so much space. Rodeo queens will be there. We will have food trucks. Of course, it costs for them, but the experience is free. What a great thing to do. And so you can get in the, the, the barrel, you said? Is that oh, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The rodeo clown, uh, who is Dusty Myers from Alabama, will be there with his barrel and he will be there and he'll high five kids. And last year we, or three years ago, we had a kid get in the barrel and his friends rolled him. And it yes. was really fun to see. Uh, am I allowed to get in the barrel, too, Ruth? Yes, sir. <laughs> I don't know if you want that or not. Uh, I, I love this because you talk about the experience. Like we, you know, you talk about the rodeo and you see the cowboys, but there's so much that goes on out there. And this is a great way, Ruth, a great way to, as you said, capture this experience and be a part of it. Oh, yeah. Just because when you're in the seats watching the rodeo, you're not down there in the action. So here you're in the action. You can get up really close to those horses that are so beautiful. And there's rodeo queens and the stock contractor is there to visit with. And it's much more relaxed and you can stay as long as you want or as short as you want. It's really a cool thing to do. I love that. I'm going to go back to the parade on Saturday. Uh, let's see, you pull up the information on the parade here. So it starts, you said, is it noon? Is that what time you said? Yes, starts Saturday at noon. And there's a parade route. And you guys have been doing this for such a long time. To me, this really entails that we're back. Does that make sense? Like we're back. We, we, we've suffered through the last two years, but now we're kind of back together. You know, that is sort of how it is. You know, we're, we're all sick and tired of the pandemic. It's over. We're glad it's over. Yeah, it's like saying, hey, life is back to normal. We are going to celebrate, enjoy our lives, enjoy our families, enjoy our friends, give the middle finger to the pandemic. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to put it. All right, let's talk about the big event happening, of course, at Franklin Rodeo, May 19th, 2021. Well put on. And if, you know, I've been to this uh, and seen everything that goes on there the bareback riding, uh, the barrel racing, everything else that goes on. It truly is an experience, isn't it, Ruth? It is. You know, we are one of the largest, if not the largest, pro rodeo in the state of Tennessee. Ooh. We'll have about 400 cowboys and cowgirls from across the nation. I think like 25 different states will be there to compete. And I, I'm going to change the subject just a tiny bit, sure. Big Joe. At the rodeo this year, we have a gentleman called John Payne, the one armed bandit. And he truly has one arm. He lost an arm in an electrical accident 49 years ago. And he does a specialty act for the rodeo, which is 
fabulous. It's worth the price of a ticket just to see him. He's really good. He's got, he'll bring a zebra to town. He'll bring some Mustangs that come from the Sioux Indian Reservation in South Dakota. Wow. He's trained these animals to go to the top of a horse trailer. He stands on his saddle up there. He cracks a whip with all with one arm. He is fabulous. My goodness. I, I do have to see that. Will we have the uh, the cowboy monkey? No, no cowboy monkey this year. Oh, that was. There's John Payne. There's Amanda Payne, his wife, right, his daughter right there. She won't be here, but but her dad will be here. And it is fabulous. Oh, wow. That is uh, the one arm bandit. Mm hmm. That is amazing. Okay, that's very cool. Okay, to the rodeo itself, everything it's everything you'd want in a rodeo, right? All the events, all the rides, all the, the spectacular things that are going on. Bareback riding, saddle bunk riding, steer wrestling, tie down roping, barrel racing, everybody's favorite, the bull riding at the end of the rodeo, uh, mutton busting, the the pageantry, the tradition, the the patriotism. Nothing beats the sport of rodeo. It truly is a sport born in America, unique to America. And we're very proud of our heritage and very proud of our country. And it shows. And I think that the back, I get goosebumps just thinking about it and I'm not even there yet. It's just, <laughs> it's very special. It's very special to all of us. And if you've never been, it's a great take, place to take your kids. I mean, they're going to, they're not going to see athletes do things that you don't want them to repeat at home. And it's just very wholesome and clean and, and fast paced and there's food and there's good food to eat. It's just, it's everything, Big Joe. I, it is, you know, and I love coming out there and, and covering this event and seeing with this event. And I got to tell you what, you know, with all the events that are go on, but uh, I think an underrated aspect of the rodeo to me, Ruth, is I'm going to click on it right now is the barrel racing people go crazy for this because it is so fast it's so quick you got to be just in line with everything this to me now you know more about rodeo than i'll ever know but the barrel racing to me ruth is a lot of fun to watch it is it's it's basically a horse race is what it is there's a three barrels in the arena they have to do a pattern around those barrels it's so fast that those cowgirls will run a pattern in maybe 16 17 seconds right yeah, I mean, it, and the bond between that cowgirl and her horse has to be very tight that you can ask that horse to do things that you can't make him do because he's bigger than you are. That's but you're right. asking him and he likes you enough. You've built a bond with him that he'll do those things. You know what I love about this, Ruth? When I go out there every year, uh, it's 50 percent men, 50 percent women. I mean, it's equal parts loving this rodeo so it's not like 98 percent cowboys there's 50 50 here and so many families take advantage of this and go out and see it oh yeah well if you're a mom and you're like okay what are we going to do this weekend rodeo it's a place to be and <laughs> don't wait to get your tickets our saturday night will will fill up very quickly so get your tickets very soon yes yeah, so that's the night is that the only night the bull riding's happening the saturday night all three nights all three nights. See, that's why I'm glad you're on the show, Ruth, because I have no idea what's going on. We will uh, have all events all three nights. But I'm going to pull up that screen again about the experience because I think I think more need to see that. Let me see here. Do, 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 do. Events. Under events. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just got on my computer the first time ever. There it is. <laughs> Frank Lerodeo, the experience. All right. So that is uh, Wednesday before, right? So that would be the yep. 18th. Yes. Yes, sir. And come out and see all that. That is really cool. I want, I, Ruth, I want to get in that rodeo barrel. You come on out. I'll make sure it happens. <laughs> Can you unleash the most ferocious bull of all time to come after me? After you sign your liability insurance, yes. <laughs> we can do all that. All right, again, it kicks off on Saturday with the parade that rolls into town. Ruth, I look forward. I'll come out there and see you next week because I've missed seeing your face, and I'm so glad you're back. I'm so glad the radio's back. And, again, you guys just do a fantastic job of putting on a great event, and I look forward to seeing you next week, Ruth. Thank you, sir. Thank you for having me on. Absolutely. All right, Ruth Nicholas with the Franklin Radio. Oh, my goodness. I'm serious. If you've never been out to this event – it's so well put on and everything is there, but you got to see the bull riding. The bell racing is great. Uh, the cap roping is great. But then the bull riding is, if you've never seen that in person, you're always like, oh, you know, maybe when I could try it. No, there's no way you could do that at all. And it's just those cowboys are next level tough.